YouTube, look. I've changed my room. I feel like a new person. <laughs> Some of you may be wondering, Paris, where have you been? Well, I've been exploring Los Angeles and a bunch of other things too, but that was then and this is now. I have been traveling a lot by bus to Los Angeles, just exploring the dance community and meeting a lot of beautiful, amazing people out there, changing my life every day still. Life is still happening, still living, still lifing, and um, now I'm doing Uber Eats. <laughs> I'm beginning to explore food delivery services and seeing how much money I can make off that, gain some kind of income so I can get all my businesses started back up again. And also finding more of myself, getting to the space to where I'm comfortably making YouTube videos again and just content in general because I've been pretty lost. Still living, but yeah. I guess there's different times in my life where I am up for vlogging and being on YouTube and other times where I'm just to myself. And again, a lot of the time I, I post a lot of my content on Instagram, so if you follow me on there, I've been pretty active. But on YouTube, I know I've been, I've been gone and I apologize for it. At the same time, I know that everything's always happening in divine timing. I'm too stubborn to get a normal job, so that's why I feel that food delivery, uh, where I could choose my own hours and basically be my own boss, would work the best for me. Um, food delivery, Uber, Lyft, all those kinds of things, and I just love meeting people, I love talking to people, so I feel like it'd be a pretty fun experience for me. And then all the while, again, I'll be saving up to reinvest into other businesses that I wanted to create, exploring e-commerce and other things like that. And for the past few days, I've had really bad migraines. I've had like two consecutive migraines, but they ended up becoming like very spiritual, powerful experiences that kind of, I don't want to say forced me, but got me back in touch with my with spirit, got me back in touch with my, my awareness of things um, that go beyond this dimensional plane, you could say. Because I've cut myself off from spirit for, for a while. I've kind of pushed away my abilities and all that stuff just to focus more on worldly things like my finances. And I feel that <clears throat> at the time I chose to do this, I saw it more of a distraction rather than something that I could learn to balance in, and integrate within my life. But after those migraines, I kind of got like a punch in the face from all my guides and stuff that saying, like, hey, listen to us. Remember? Remember us. But yeah, I'm going to go on some Uber runs and I'll take you guys with me. Honestly, this job is one of the chillest, super laid back things I've ever done. And it's freaking amazing. You just turn on the app and you can work whenever you want. Honestly, Uber Eats doesn't pay that well. I'm going to explore other services like DoorDash. And I feel that those apps pay a lot more. But right now I'm doing Uber Eats and it's pretty fun getting some cool experiences with it it's just like picking up food for a friend and dropping it off and you get paid for it that's it good deal I think it's also a good way to explore the city like I'm driving the app kind of takes me all the way like all throughout town and as I drive I find places to like create stuff I'm a, just a creative person I love to take pictures film stuff jump on stuff dance and so as I drive around and explore and deliver food and make money, I'm also being productive in other aspects of my life within my artistry. It's like, oh, I could film something here. I could use this location and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. Right now I'm listening to Terrence McKenna. And this is basically what a day of work is like. It's like I'm just driving around. I'm either listening to music and exploring the city or I'm listening to podcasts. Lately I've been listening to a lot of Terrence McKenna because I've been kind of going down that path of reopening myself to explore consciousness and those kinds of ways again. Let me know in the comments, what are your, what's your opinion on psychedelics? I probably shouldn't be vlogging right now because this is kind of illegal, but um, I'm doing it anyway. I'll stop though. Now I'm doing deliveries. I just got a shredded chicken burrito from Fuzzy's Taco Shop and I'm about to deliver it my guy. The thing about Uber Eats is that you can't see how much you get paid for the delivery until after you make the delivery. That's what kind of sucks about it. Start delivery. I want to get a GoPro set up for my car so I could just prop the GoPro up, do deliveries, and then vlog at the same time. I think that'd be pretty cool. Doing food deliveries, I have a lot of time in my car to myself to just record stuff and talk about the universe. Yeah, this is my new adventure <laughs> uh, just to make some money on the side make more productive use of my time my AC is broken so my phone overheats a lot and it kind of ruins my delivery sometimes I'm trying to find ways to get around this and until I fix my AC in my car 
and it's super hot in Vegas. So if you if you ever decide to do like food deliveries and you live in a hot area and you don't have AC, that may be a problem you might encounter, but hopefully that'll get fixed soon. The way I kind of circumvent the AC thing is I drive with the windows down. It doesn't exactly make my car cooler, but it's better than driving in a hot box. Vegas, you suck with love and light. So I just completed the delivery. Now I'm off to find the next delivery. I made $5. Oh, I got another one. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and accept it. Uh, tropical smoothie. I love tropical smoothie. And I'm off for my next one. And that's basically the process. I just get the food, drop it off, and go on to the next one. It's pretty fun. And I get to talk to this. I get to talk to you guys. Or myself. There's no difference. Next delivery, tropical smoothie. I want to drink it so bad it's so hot. But I won't. Because I'll get fired. But I forgot to get straws. So I have to go back and get straws. Remember, never forget straws. These drinks look so good. It's like 200 degrees outside. The customer needs straws. A life isn't a life without straws. I just dropped off the tropical smoothie and on my way to another delivery right away. So many deliveries today. Deliveries, deliveries, deliveries. I need to stop vlogging on this while I drive. The next stop is Panda Express. Hot. No. It's hot. Panda Express. Uh, yes, please. Actually, it's pretty hot outside. Thank you. <laughs> So I'm waiting for them to finish the order. I'm gonna take a bunch of straws, just in case. Do you like video your trip? Yeah, I do. Oh. I'm an Uber Eats vlogger. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, you too. <laughs> All right, that was cool. That was the first time I ever told someone I'm an Uber Eats vlogger. Why not? Oh, let me check to see if I got utensils. That's something you always need to check for too. But doing this, simultaneously is kind of difficult just a little bit but yes there's utensils I'm ready to go good to go straws another pro tip bring water pro tip number two drink water or you'll die oh, my phone is too hot I don't know if you could see that but the temperature's too hot, my phone's not working, and now I can't do deliveries anymore. Maybe if I poured water on my phone, it would cool it down. Just kidding. Gonna take a little break. What I like to do when I'm not getting any requests is I'll just get out of my car and I'll walk around. I'm at this place called Tokyo Discount in my city, and uh, it's like an anime shop. Tokyo Discount. I'm not sure if I can record in here. I'm gonna go home because I just got a notification that I got my Postmates stuff. So now I can stop doing Uber Eats. I just did four deliveries and I only made $15.97. That's like $6 an hour. Not too great. I'm gonna go check the mail and see what Postmates is all about. My mom was binge watching Harry Potter the other night and now I'm binge watching Harry Potter every night. Mail. Whoa. Ta-da, Postmates. Damn it. Postmates. Huh. I get a Postmates food bag. The only card that earns you money. Oh, I should probably not show that. I'll blur that out. Cool, so I also got an Instacart package. Kind of like Uber Eats, Postmates, but you go grocery shopping for the person. I like opening stuff. I signed up for a bunch of these. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna do all of them. Whoa, I feel official. All right, it's 7.30 and I'm about to go do a Postmates order pickup. Let's do this. Hi, so I'm done with Postmates deliveries. I started getting a migraine again. I feel uh, nauseous and I should probably go to sleep, but I wanted to vlog the rest of the day. Thank you everyone for watching this. Still being willing to watch stuff, even though I've been gone for a long time. Thank you for still being willing to follow me in my journey. I pop up here and there, but I love all of you guys still. And 
I can't think right now. Love and light to everyone.